Many people have misconceptions about the tails of rats. They're often perceived as cold, slimy, and gross appendages. However, any rat owner can tell you that this is definitely not the case. They're actually not slimy or cold at all and feel much like your own skin. A rat's tail is a vital part of its anatomy and is very important for them. However, even among people who are familiar with rats, there are many questions and uncertainties surrounding these interesting appendages. For instance, do you know what their tail is used for, why there is no fur on it, or if it contains bones? All these questions and many more will be answered in this video by taking a look at 15 fascinating facts about rat tails. Let's get into it. Fact number one, rats use their tails for temperature control. Did you know that rats are masters of temperature control? It's all thanks to their incredibly versatile tails. Despite being just 5% of their body surface area, the rat's tail can regulate a whopping 17% of their body heat. Think of it as a built-in air conditioning system for these furry creatures. When a rat is feeling hot, it can cool down in a matter of seconds by dilating the blood vessels in its tail. This allows blood to flow into the tail, where it can dissipate heat and lower the rat's internal temperature. On the other hand, when a rat is feeling cold, it can simply constrict the blood vessels in its tail to reduce blood flow and boost its internal temperature. It's a fascinating example of how these creatures have evolved to survive and thrive in their environment. Fact number two, rats use their tail for climbing and balancing. Rats are known for their agility and climbing skills, and their tails play a crucial role in this feat. These tails serve as a stabilizing force, allowing rats to maintain their balance while scaling walls, ropes, and other obstacles. The tail helps keep the rat's center of gravity in the right place, preventing the rope from rotating and causing the rat to fall. Without their tails, rats would struggle to climb with the same ease and grace. So, the next time you're impressed by a rat's climbing abilities, remember that their tails are the unsung heroes behind the scenes. Fact number three, rats use their tail for communication. When trying to decipher a rat's body language, the rat's tail is one of the first things to look at, as rats have almost as comprehensive a language of tail flicks and swishes as dogs. Rats may swish their tails from side to side if they are excited, but this same behavior can also appear in an aggressive rat, if accompanied by a tense, stiff posture. A rat that is stressed, anxious, or frightened may flick their tail from side to side through a large arc of movement, indicating that something about the situation that they are in is upsetting them. Taking a look at a rat's tail can tell you more about their state of mind than you might think. Fact number four, rats can live without their tail if necessary. Rats can live without their tail in captivity and in the wild. In captivity, they will survive just fine without it, but in the wild, they will be at a severe disadvantage. I've already mentioned that rats need their tails for three important purposes, temperature control, balance, and communication. If they lose their tail in an encounter with a predator, it means that they're less effective at climbing and temperature control which makes their life significantly harder because it will be more difficult for them to get away from predators and to maintain proper body temperature. In captivity, this is less of a problem and there is even a tailless rat type, but living without a tail is definitely not ideal for them. Fact number five, rat tails are not particularly sensitive. Rats do have feelings in their tails, However, it's not the most sensitive part of their body because it is quite scaly. It's kind of comparable to how you can feel when someone touches your fingernail. It's not sensitive, but you definitely notice it when someone is touching it. Fact number six, you should never hold your rat by its tail. Holding your rat by the tail hurts it and is not something you should do. While the tail itself is not very sensitive, holding the animal that way puts a lot of pressure on the point where the appendage connects to the rest of the body. This is painful for your rat and causes them a lot of stress. Also, holding your rat that way can damage the appendage itself. It can result in degloving, which is a loss of skin and deep tissue. This is incredibly painful and should be avoided at all costs. Fact number seven, rat tails feel similar to human skin. 
When you see the tail of a rat from a distance, it might look cold, slimy, and pretty gross. However, any rat owner can attest to the fact that this is not the case. They actually feel much like our own skin, not slimy or gross at all. Also, since they use it to regulate their temperature, it is not cold to the touch, but usually quite warm. Fact number eight, some rat species can shed their tail, but fancy rats cannot. There are quite a few lizards, such as the iguana, that are capable of shedding their tail in dangerous situations. Some people wonder if rats can do the same. There are some species of rats, such as the spiny rat and the dassy rat, that can shed the skin from their tail. They do not release the entire appendage, but only the skin. They do this in order to facilitate an escape in dire situations. However, most rats, including your pet rat, which is a member of the Rattus norvegica species, are not part of the species of rats that can shed their tail. Fact number nine, rats cannot regrow their tail. Lizards that shed their tail do so because they can grow them back. Unfortunately, adult mammals, including rats, cannot do the same. They cannot grow back lost limbs. Once their tail is gone, it's gone forever and it will never grow back. Fact number 10, rats have bones in their tails. Some people are under the impression that since rats can move their tails so freely, it means that they do not contain bones. This is definitely not the case, and rats do certainly have bones in their tails. Fact number 11, rat tails are mostly hairless for a good reason. Rats have fur all over their body, but not on their tail. Have you ever wondered why that is? The reason why they do not have hair on this particular body part comes back to one of the reasons why they have a tail in the first place, regulating their body temperature. As I've mentioned, they use this useful appendage to regulate their body temperature by flushing it with blood, which lowers their internal temperature. To do this effectively, they need it to be hairless so that it can cool off faster. If it was covered in fur, it would greatly diminish the efficacy as a thermoregulator. Fact number 12, bored or stressed rats might chew on their tail. A healthy and happy rat will not eat its own tail. However, there have been reports of rats gnawing and chewing on it. The most common reason why they do this is boredom. If your rat does not have a stimulating environment with toys and cage mates, they will become bored and depressed. This may manifest itself in them becoming destructive and destroying their surroundings. In extreme cases, it might even result in them chewing on their own tail. If you notice that your rat is chewing or biting on itself, I highly recommend that you contact a veterinarian because that's not normal behavior. Fact number 13, rat tails are scaly. Rats have scales on their tail for protection. It is an important appendage and protecting it is quite important because without it, they have a much lower chance of surviving in the wild. Fact number 14, rat tails are partially prehensile. Prehensile tails are those that can be used to grab or hold objects. Many new world monkeys have this, but rats do not have fully prehensile tails since they cannot use them to grab and hold objects. However, Wikipedia does classify rats as animals that have partially prehensile tails because they can wrap them around objects after running around them. Also, they can use them to hang from objects, albeit for a very short time. Fact number 15. You might need to clean the tail occasionally. Rats are very clean pets, but their tail is one part of their body that can sometimes get a little dirty. You can tell when it is dirty and needs to be cleaned by taking a look at the color. If it's a darker color than normal, it might be time to give it a wash. Cleaning your rat's tail is quite easy. Just use a solution of some soap and water, dip a piece of cloth in it, and wipe down the appendage. If it is very dirty, you can also dip their tail in a lukewarm solution of water and soap. If you're going to clean your rat's tail, make sure to be cautious. You do not accidentally want to hold onto their tail, spook them, and then cause them injury. So there you have it, 15 interesting facts about the tails of rats. I hope that this video was fun to watch and that the facts in this video were interesting and that you learned something new. If you've got other interesting facts about rat tails, feel free to share them with your fellow rat lovers in the comments below. If you wanna watch more videos like this, 
Subscribing to the channel is a great way to stay up to date on everything related to rats and other pets. A like on the video would also be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again very soon.